team news, yeah, Gailey uh, unfortunately got injured in training on Tuesday. Um, so, you know, we, we're, he's having a scan today, so we, we won't know what uh, what the extent of the injury is. No, Sham won't, uh, won't be fit for Saturday. How big a blow is that? Well, as I've said, it's a, it's, a, it's a massive blow because he plays that position so, so well. You know, he's... Uh, He's a good player who can score goals. He can drop into that um, number 10 position, um, but also score goals. So, yeah, it's a miss, but we have to get on with it. And in terms of this, a point was obviously a good result last week. Would you say the same again? It's another a difficult place to go. Well, you know, to travel to the, the North East two weeks consecutively, you know, is difficult. So, and Newcastle are a good side. It's a great football club. Um, you know, obviously they've had one or two problems. Um, which have been well documented, but we'll expect a really tough game up there. In terms of those one or two problems, do you think that will have an impact on the weekend? I mean, Maddie's obviously like to control. I, I, I think Alan will have, you know, he'll, he'll most probably have more control than what people will think. You know, that, that with technology today, you, 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 you can always have your finger on the pulse. And if he's watching the game from afar, as long as he's got contact, which he will have with the coaching, you know, staff, then, then I'm sure that uh, they'd have sorted that out. Yeah, there, yeah, there is. You, you obviously want to be there, and you want to be in the thick of the action. You know, the, the, you know, that's when you know all the preparation finishes and, and the action starts. So you want to be there with the players, really, if you can. Um, but like I say, with technology, you know, there's, there's lots of managers who sit on the bench, and you know, they, they don't really, they, you know, they, they don't move. You know, and there's others. You know, I'm one of them who, who get really involved in the game. So you know, it's different horses for courses. Is there a right way? Is there a wrong way? No, there's not. No, I do, I do, I, you know, I do get involved. I do get um, in, involved in the, in the game, and you know, you end up heading every you know ball that's played forward up, up in the air, and you, you're making all the tackles, you're making all the passes. Um, you know, as a manager, you never make a mistake. You never make the wrong decision of, of a pass, or never make a, a bad pass. You know, then you have to look at your videos when you did play and see how poor you were. <laughs> Just to remember how poor you were. I don't think it's got anything to do with the technical areas. You know, I, th I think the I think what we have to do, and it's very difficult at times with the emotion and everything and the pressure that's on you. You know, you, you have to control it some way. How do you, how do you... Well, but that's that's yourself personally. You have to you have to be strong enough to. And you know, I've I've done stupid things. That most managers have. You look back. And uh, you know you look at yourself, and, and you, you you get embarrassed sometimes by what you've done, by the action that uh, that you've taken. Um, but you know you, you, you're involved. You know you're emotionally so keen for that team to win, so desperate for that team to win, for that team to play well. Um, you know for the supporters of the football club. I remember a few years ago, Sal had us wore heart monitors uh, just during games for I think for a demonstration. I can remember further than that. I think Dave Bassett. Also wore one years back as well, and um, you know that you know it just shows the level of stress that uh, you put under on, on, on the sides. There's no job quite like it, is there? Where it comes down to ninety minutes every week. You know that the you know we, we were talking about it, you know earlier. I, I you know people who've never managed, it's it's almost like trying to tell a a woman what it's like having a baby. You know you you don't understand. You just don't understand. In terms of the team as a whole, in terms of the character and resilience that's been shown recently, that must give you great heart. Going into the no, the, the you know the, the you know what we have to do, we have to take the chances. You know when they come along, and that, that's most probably you know the two away games. Glenn, Glenn had a fantastic opportunity at Swansea to put us two one ahead, and then obviously KG missed a great chance to win the game at Sunderland. So they're, they're big chances and big opportunities and you have to take those, those chances and opportunities in the Premiership. You know, that's the difference. You know, when they come along, you have to be really ruthless and take them. Um, but, the, the, you know, the attitude of the players and, and, and the performance at Sunderland, and you'll be the same at Newcastle in front of a, a very, very hostile crowd who are absolutely desperate for their teams to win, was, was absolutely first class.
I can't, I, you know, you can't, I, I can't prejudge what's going to happen. As I've said before, if I did, I'd be sat on the beach in Barbados somewhere, enjoying myself. <laughs>